Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another prototype tip. And for today, we're gonna dive back into finishes and talk specifically about considerations to keep in mind when adding grain finishes to your sheet metal design. Most engineers and designers choose powder coat as the finish for their custom enclosures and parts, as it gives a bright, vibrant, professional look. But what if you don't need to have your enclosures or parts painted, but still need them to be aesthetically pleasing? We offer bare metal finishes, including a grain finish that applies a linear grain onto the surface, producing a sleek, minimalist look. Now, grain direction refers to the orientation of the natural crystalline structure formed during the rolling process of sheet metal. It significantly affects the material's mechanical properties, including strength, aesthetics, durability, and susceptibility to cracking when bent or fastened together. Now, something as simple as the direction of the linear grain. Why does that matter? Well, there are multiple reasons. Bendability. Bending parallel to the grain direction increases the risk of cracking. Bending perpendicular to the grain direction allows for greater flexibility and also minimizes the likelihood of failure. Forming strength. Features that require significant forming should be oriented to take advantage of the material's strength across the grain. Avoid bending features parallel to the grain to prevent material splitting. Cracking and fracture resistance. Bends made parallel to the grain direction are more prone to cracks, especially in materials like stainless steel and aluminum. Critical load bearing areas should be aligned perpendicular to the grain for increased durability. Welding and fatigue strength. If your part or enclosure features welding, weld seams should ideally be placed perpendicular to the grain direction to avoid premature cracking. Now, when designing your next part or enclosure that features a grain finish, there are going to be best practices to keep in mind. Here's a few to remember. Placing bends perpendicular to the grain direction. It's standard practice that critical bends should be made across the grain to improve durability. Depending on your specific design requirements, if bending perpendicular to the grain is unavoidable, use a larger bend radius to reduce the stress concentration. Select proper material grade. At the very beginning, you will need to determine the material for your sheet metal design. Designers need to understand that some materials are more sensitive to grain direction, so consider higher grade options for critical applications. Stainless steel is a go-to material for grain finishes due to its ability to hold a consistent grain pattern and has superior strength and long-lasting durability. If you're looking for a material that is perfect for a grain finish, but you need a lighter weight, then aluminum would be the next best choice. Finally, cold rolled steel also has a smooth surface that is ideal for grain finishing and has excellent compatibility with protective coatings. Now finally, the last consideration, specifying grain direction on design drawings. When creating sheet metal flat patterns, specify grain direction using annotations to ensure proper alignment between the design files and manufacturing. Now, since most of you will be using SolidWorks to design your next project, here's a simple step-by-step -step on how to define grain direction inside the software. First, open the sheet metal part that you're gonna to wanna to work on. Next, add notes or annotations in the part's drawing or directly onto the part via a sketch to call out the grain direction explicitly. You're gonna to wanna to use clear wording such as grain direction with an arrow to help manufacturers understand the requirements. So there you have it. With this information, you now understand applying grain direction to your next sheet metal part or enclosure. If you're ready to bring your next design to life, our team of experts are here to help. If you have any questions about grain direction or want us to focus on more specific topics for bare metal finishes, please let us know in the comments or send us an email at info at protocase.com. And if you're in aerospace and defense, you can reach us at info at protospacemfg.com. Please also like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tech tip videos. So with that being said, that's it for today's tech tip. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time.